when I, fir when I first moved to Denver, uh, for, for a little while I was in a country and western band out there. And this country and western band had some very specific conditions under which we had to play. We had a keyboard player who always had to be on the far right end of the stage because uh, his right eye was blind. So the only way he could see the, the only way he could see the rest of the band is, you know, to be way over there. Now, meanwhile, the bass player had to be on the far left of the stage because he had a glass eye for his left eye. I couldn't make this up if I tried. I swear to God, this is this is true. So he, yeah, so he had to be over there. Now, meanwhile, I got this buddy of mine. His name's Ernie Martinez. I call him the Zen String Master of Denver because he can play anything with strings and frets. He plays pedal steel and mandolin and dobro and banjo and guitar. And uh, but the thing is, it, it didn't matter where you put Ernie in, in a sense because he had cataracts when he was a kid. And after a series of operations, he could wear these pop bottle thick glasses, but he had like no peripheral vision, so he was like legally blind. You know, he he, he couldn't drive. And the, the band was fronted by this, this very bold, bodacious blonde woman named June. And one day I turned to June and I said, June, clearly this, this band is a case of the blonde leading the blind. Yeah. And my buddy Ernie says, if you're going to make a pun that bad, the least you can do is uh, justify it with a song. So that's as much connection as that band has to this song is that... Is that uh, that that bad pun became a song. So. Yeah. He didn't see anything behind the wicked gleam in her eyes. He didn't see that the sway of her hips was meant to hypnotize. He didn't see that she was troubled from her head down to her toes. He didn't see anything that she didn't mean to show. He didn't see the pale circle on her finger where there'd been a ring. In fact, looking back, you could say he didn't see a thing. He didn't see any trouble or any of the warning signs. I guess you could say it was another classic case of the blah, 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 blah. Leading the blind. You could blame it on the whiskey, you could blame it on the cigarette smoke. You could blame it on the neon lights, and there were one or two broke. You could blame it on the crowd, there were people there from wall to wall. You could blame it on the stage lights, they made it hard to see it all. You could blame it on the shifting shadows of the dance room floor. But when he saw her dancing, he couldn't see a thing no more. He didn't see any trouble or any of the warning signs. I guess you could say it was another classic case of the blom mom mom home leading the blind. He didn't see that he never even had a chance While he was holding her way too close on a too slow dance He didn't see her slip off to make a telephone Come on, he didn't have a clue He was being set up for a phone And if he'd never met that jealous husband He'd have never missed but the last thing he didn't see was the big man's fist. He didn't see any trouble or any of the warning signs. I guess you could say it was another classic case of the blind home 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 leading the blind. He didn't see any trouble or any of the warning signs. I guess you could say it was another classic case of the blind on leading the blind. 
leading the blind was another blonde woman. Leading the blind, just another blonde woman. Leading the blind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you much. Thank you.